when we talked earlier, yeah. you said that you just came off with some days off. Yeah. You had the truck parked in front of your house. You did a pre-trip inspection, and then you drove through Winkler, hooked up the trailer, and this you morning? did another inspection, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Did you drop this trailer off in Winkler before you went home? No. All those um, items that you're required to check, and then it's a list of defects that you might find, and a list of major defects that you might find, which means yeah, you can't. Yeah, yeah. So, do you know what tire company they, they use? Uh, Cal Tire. But I searched the Cal Tire, it's a small one. All right, any other questions? That's everything, I think. Thank you so much. All right, take care. Drive have, a good, have a good night. You bet. Benoit Trucker. I keep on trucking. Keep on trucking. Yeah, I keep on trucking. Keep on trucking. And yes, yeah, start for the day. Uh, yard Nakuha ng trailer And Magload ng heavy ng Magload ng equipment Sa Tawag dun Sa Carberry dito sa Manitoba Sige, yeah, bye-bye Ang wallet ko nandito, no? Yung wallet ko nandito? Yung wallet ko? sino lang kung sino lang gusto ng bumili ng uh, jacket jacket ba tawag dito wala namang hoodie eh. hindi siya wala ng hoodie meron siyang uh, Pinoy trucker na naka embroidery dito sa left side kung sino man yung gusto mag-order ng jacket at saka t-shirt nandiyan sa description yung website kung saan pwede kayo mag-order ng jacket na ganito so, iba't ibang kulay, iba't ibang uh, style ng jacket So, yung, yung website ay nandyan sa description I-type nyo lang ang Pinoy Tracker 10 para makakuha kayo ng discount So, nagpapadala sila kahit sa lugar ka dito sa, sa Earth Seven. Ah. That's it. 
ito yung trailer na hahatakin ko T559 So ito yung service brake Ito yung supply ng hangin Ito yung electric cord para sa ilaw from Q line. Can you send me a drop point on your exact location? I think we can for one of Okay, sure. Okay, I'll just send it to this number. Okay, sounds good. Okay, thanks Brian. Yeah, okay. See you later. See ya. Bye bye. Meron kasi mga customer na meron mga customer na tawag doon yung mga farm minsan ay hindi exact yung point kasi itong binigay sa akin na drop point ay parang sa Saskatchewan itong binigay na sa akin so hindi siya natutugma doon sa akin GPS but anyway uh, magdadrive ako papuntang Highway 1 then tatawag ulit ako sa kanya bago ako uh, diterito sa yard niya kasi nawawala ako sa mga sinasabi niyo mga simpilis so, tag test ko lang. Then I'm done. Okay, dito na ako sa aking customer. In 100 meters, arrive at coordinates on the left. Kaya ay kakarga dito Baka itong traktora ay kakarga me out if I will oh, stuck. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I won't leave you. All right, okay. I'll, I'll make sure I pull you out. I got a tractor at the yard. I can okay. easily pull you out. Slowly, slowly, 
Slowly, slowly. Nasa ditch na yung truck. tumatama na sa deck and ito tatama rin sa deck pati yun tatama yun sa deck yung blade na yun
Okay, ngayon lang natapos Grabe Ang init bro eh Hi, uh, can you connect me to permit please? Thank you I'm legal So tapos na ako, I'm done here Let's go Navigation na pull over ko dito ng pulis sa uh, dahil meron akong wide load meron akong wide load so nakita ko siya nag-aabang dun sa kanto ah, dun sa, sa gitna then pag, pagdaan ko uh, hinabol na agad niya ako nag blinker na siya so ginawa ko tumigil na agad ako hindi ko na hinintay na habulin pa so tumigil na agad ako sa gilid then ayun ah uh, check niya lahat ng aking documents so bago ang lahat, bago ko kasi tumakbo tumawag muna kung legal yung aking load, yung aking weed so legal naman daw sabi ng aking ano, ng sina sa permit uh, section alright So in that big binder there, I want you to find me your uh, over-dimensional permit. Over-dimensional permit in Saskatchewan? Yep. Okay. Here. Okay, so which one applies? A valid up to June 30. Okay, and is that the valid permit for what you're hauling today? This is uh, for this uh, farm equipment. Okay, so all right. I'm going to take this as is. Yeah. And I'll go have a look at stuff. I'm going to take some pictures of the license plate in the truck. Okay. So that I can run the registration, okay? Okay. Okay, I'm going to get you to... Uh, no, I got the sticker. Okay, close your door. I'll be back in a little bit. Okay. So, there are a lot of people who are asking. Just when these wide loads... Uh, isa pa, uh, pag pinull over ka ng pulis, huwag na huwag kang bababa ng iyong sasakyan na sasalubungin mo siya, hintayin mo siyang lumapit sa'yo, tumigil ka lang, mag ka. Pero huwag na huwag kang bababa. Example, bumalik, kinuha na niya yung gusto niya, yung license mo, registration, everything. Babalik siya sa kanyang service. Huwag kang bababa ng iyong truck. Okay? Or yung sasakyan, huwag. Kasi baka mag-trigger siya or... Baka kung anong isipin niya, baka may bubunutin ka. Alam mo naman mga pulis, no? So, stipot ka lang sa truck mo. Antayin mong bumalik siya. Antayin mo yung instruction niya para walang problema. But wag na wag kang bababa pag pinull over ka ng pulis. Kahit sa US or sa dito sa Canada. Stay ka lang. Antayin mo siya matapos sa kanyang gagawin. So, the email loads to me. I just need a picture of your nominer there again. It didn't take the first time. Much better. Okay. Okay. At G O V, as in gov. Uh, go govern, government. Yeah, G O V. Okay. Dot. Dot. S K. S K. Okay. So when you go dot, top right corner, there's a dot. You don't have to change it over by the numbers. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, hit yeah. dot again. One? Yeah. C A. No, no, does it? Um, gov.sk.c, that should be good there. Okay. Okay, so on this one, your trip inspection probably won't come to me. Mm -hmm. So let's see what you've got on there. Can you show me your trip inspections? The, the one that you did today. So, you have three hours and 19 minutes of remaining drive time. Cups. So I need to see the actual inspection. This one? No, I need to see the inspection that you filled out. I need to see the information you oh, put okay. into it. This one, the vehicle inspection? Uh, so I need to see the completed one. So try five. No, so go back to DVIR. D 
DVR. Try yeah, it. try five. They're not all, and then you have to hit select. They're not always in the right order, so let's just see what we get. Just give it a minute. Okay, date 12 21 at 9 15 this morning. Does mm -hmm. that sound right? Yep. Okay. Um, hold on, hold on. Mm -hmm. Tractor inspected, yes. Trailer inspected. Yes. Uh, okay, scroll down. See, so inspected at Winkler. Yeah, because uh, from Winnipeg, a drive bobtail going to Winkler. Okay. Uh, so, why didn't you do your inspection before you left Winnipeg? I do the inspection. Uh, this says you did it in Winkler, not in Winnipeg. I did. So, did you do uh, it in yeah. Winkler or in Winnipeg? See, uh, I got here. and 17 minutes of See, remaining drive time. It's here? Yeah. This pre-trip? Yeah. Yeah. So where did you do that pre-trip? In the front of my house. In Winnipeg? Yeah. Okay, so why does your trip inspection show Winkler? Oh, that's when I, I, I inspected the, the trailer together with the trailer. Okay. But, but I have my 15 minutes uh, inspection. Okay, I'm not worried about your 15 minutes. I need to see the actual inspection. So I need you to show me where you inspected the truck. Let's go back to the one that you're in. Let's go to five. Okay. Let's just look at that one for a minute. So you inspected the truck and the trailer mm -hmm. when you're in Winkler. Mm -hmm. Okay. 1071, 55, nine, uh, 55, nine. Okay. So is this unit number 1071? Yes, sir. Okay. And I would find that on the registration. Yes, sir. Okay. Scroll down for me. Scroll down again. Okay, and keep going. Okay, so you didn't find any issues? No. Okay. All right, I'll go back and look at the log books. It sounds like they came to me, so. Okay, so. You're using personal conveyance quite a bit in here. Do you know what the rules are for personal conveyance? Yes, sir. Can you explain them to me, please? That's when you're going to take a, a grocery, okay. showers. Okay, those are some examples, but there's a couple of rules that apply to personal conveyance. Uh, there's like, a kilometer rule. Yeah, there's a 75 kilometers. Um, so you can't have a trailer connected. Yes, sir. Yeah. You can't have any kind of a load on. Yeah. And you can't be doing any work for the company. So you can't be yeah. going to get fuel. You can't be going yeah. to get a car wash. Yeah. Anything like that. So you're following all those rules each time. Yes. Sir. Okay. So there, there's some of them that you're using still within cities, and you're not making any notation that you're dropping a trailer or anything. So, so some of the times when you're using personal conveyance you're not indicating that you're that you're unloaded or you've dropped the trailer no, or anything no, no, that's no. why I'm asking these questions no I'm not uh, I'm not. we find that quite a bit in my level? We, in general we find people using personal oh, okay. conveyance when they're not no, supposed I'm not, to I'm not, I'm not doing that one because okay. I know it's uh, in Canada you are not allowed to have trailer with your truck if you're using personal conveyance yeah. so well 75 kilometers in a day a day yeah yeah okay all right but so when we talked earlier yes. you said that you just came off with some days off yeah. you had the truck parked in front of your house you did a pre-trip inspection and then you drove to Winkler hooked up the trailer and this you morning. did another inspection right yeah, yeah. okay did you drop this trailer off in Winkler before you went home no where did, this, another trailer. where did this trailer come from uh, Winkler. Well, I understand it came from Winkler. How did it get to Winkler? This trailer? Yes. I, I don't know. It's We have lots of trailers in Winkler. Yeah. Okay. It's our, our Manitoba base. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. I'll go back and look at a few more things. I just have to clear some of that up, okay? okay.
muna ako dito. May isang oras na yata ako dito. Sa dami-daming truck, ako pa talaga yung na-inspection. <laughs> okay, so we're almost done. So, you had a different trailer before this one, right? Yes, sir. Where did you drop that one? Winter. You dropped that in Winter? Yes, sir. Okay, so then you drove from Winter back home to Winnipeg? Yeah, by Bob Till. Uh, and was that personal conveyance or was that on duty? Uh, what's that? When I drove? Yes. No, it's 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 to go, it's uh, with my hours. Right. So it was it was done under driving time. Yeah. Okay. I want to show you something out here. Uh, go and grab those uh, that schedule one that we talked about. Okay. Okay, so, oh, we didn't have to rip it out, but oh. find tires for me. Okay, yeah. hey, go over to major defect. Flat tire, uh, tire tread dip is done, wear limit. So, we're past the wear bars, right? What's that? We're past that wear indicator on the yep. tire. So, if you followed this, you never would have left with that trailer. So, maybe, you know what, sir? Um, I checked this trailer this uh, afternoon. Okay, so I check, I, 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 yeah, I agree with you, with this tire. Maybe the tire was underneath. It's possible. Yeah. But we gotta, you gotta be diligent in checking, okay? Okay. Because even when I pointed it out there, you didn't know what I was talking about. Yeah. You were trying to check it for the tire being flat itself. That, you should have seen that right away. That should have jumped right out that that spot is flattened out. Yeah. Okay. So, typically... I wouldn't let the vehicle leave from here, okay? Leave. You would have to have a service truck come out and repair those tires here, okay? But because you're a wide load and we're getting dark and we're this close to town, yeah. I'm going to escort you back to town to get them done. Where's that, Mooseman? In Mooseman, yeah. Okay. So there's a couple of tire shops the company can call to, to do that rather than come out and do it roadside with a wide load, okay? Okay. I'm going to go back and finish up the paperwork and uh, we'll get you moving here in a little bit, okay? Okay. Okay. That means you're probably not going to have enough hours to make it to the Flying J, right? For sure, because I got only 2 hours and 41. Yeah, and you're going to have to get these fixed first, so. Okay. 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 Here's your license. Thank you. Trailer registration. Okay, I'm gonna get you to open that up to that. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're gonna open that up to this loose page here. That's your permit. Okay, do you know how wide you are today? It's uh, I have a uh, three point five. 3.5 here on the right side, okay. almost 13.5. So you're, you're 3.8 altogether. Yeah. Okay, so let's have a look at your permit. Uh, farm equipment loaded. So this one. Okay, so with the 3.3 meters and more, so you're over 3.3, correct? You're 3.8, which is more than 3.3. Mm -hmm. So you need to follow these conditions. Exceeding 3.3, one amper beacon mounted on the cab of the truck visible to traffic in all directions. If it's not visible to the rear, a second beacon centered at the rear at the load at the rear is required. Mm -hmm. You need your rear beacons on. Rear beacons? It's yeah. on, I think. Nope. No, it's on. Really? They weren't on the whole time here. Because I, I turned it on when I left the customer. Yeah. It's working. Well, we'll check again. I didn't think that it was working when I when I pulled you in, so I just wanted to bring that to your attention so you have that, okay? Yeah. So, oh, wait, 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 wait. Just making sure that they're not loose. Yep, go ahead and put those in. 
I think, hold on. I think this page, I think this is an empty page, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. That's the one that came out of. Because when I leave the customer, I switch on the big one. All right, so let's go over the inspection report, okay? So okay. fail to have your cab card registration. Fail to have your PMVI certificate, so that's the safety. That was the next one. Tarp straps on the side of the truck are considered cargo, requires a working load limit. What is the tarp strap? Oh, this, uh, the, the one? Yeah, the bungee cords, yeah. yep. So that's the out of service condition, mm -hmm. okay? Tires, axle four, left side, worn below minimum tread wear indicators, and then the beacon that we talked about. So this says a major defect item was found and you can't operate the vehicle until that's repaired. The major defect was the tires, axle four, left side, below tread wear indicators. We looked that up so we mm -hmm. know it's a major defect. Vehicle, I'm going to escort the vehicle back into town for safety. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. So you can give this to the company and they're going to keep that on record, okay? Okay. So, do you know what tire company they, they use? Uh, Cal Tire. But I searched the Cal Tire, it's, it, it's a small one. Uh, we don't, I don't know that we have a Cal Tire. We have a Denner and an OK Tire here. Because we have the, we have the account of Cal Tire. Okay. So, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to get you into town to, do you know where the SO stop is? The SO truck stop? Where, where is that? So, you're, you can follow me, okay? Okay. It's going to be the first major parking lot on our left it's side one? it's big it's trucks parked there yeah okay okay park there until you figure out where which tire shop you need to go to okay, okay. but i want to get you off the highway so that we don't have any accident or anything like that while they try and fix that up okay that's correct, that's correct. okay does that make sense makes sense okay can we check the beacon yes we can check the beacon because i switch it on this so wala akong ticket Lahat sa company, mga yung aking lagbog ay okay. So babalik kami sa town dahil gusto niya ma-fix yung gulong sa trailer. And bukas na ako tatakbo dahil ayaw niya akong mag-drive papuntang papunta ng Greenfield or Balgoni. So, ibabalik niya ako doon sa town para bukas ng umaga ito fix yung gulong. Ito kami ng town. Police ay umuna na sa akin para guide niya ako dun sa gas station kung saan ako magpa-park and doon ako magpapalipas ng gabi then bukas ng umaga ay papagawa yung gulong I don't know working at the back so it's not working. what's going on with those okay so you're gonna get the tires fixed up yeah you're gonna get the beacon working and yeah. you're gonna get these tarp straps off of here okay yeah i'm gonna remove okay. it now i'm okay. just doing my post trip right now okay fair enough um just so you know typically when i find this many issues we're almost always gonna write a ticket okay mm -hmm. i'm not gonna do that today 
but thank you, thank you so much. You gotta every time you. I used to be a driver. Okay. Every time you get out of the vehicle. You're a class one driver. Yes, oh. I drove for a long time before I did this. Oh, well. Every oh, time I broke? get out of the vehicle, I would do a quick walk around and see if I see anything. Yeah. So it doesn't matter if that was on the ground this morning. The next time I stop, it's going to be in a different spot. Maybe I'll see it. Maybe I'll see something else. Okay. Yeah. Just keep get in the habit of just checking every time you walk by it. Okay. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Any other questions? That's everything I think. Thank you so much. All right. Take care. Drive have safe. A good, have a good night. You bet. Meron akong beacon light sa taas Sa taas ng truck Okay, ayaw ko makikita Hindi siya nakita, pati sa aking logbook Wala siyang nakita ang mga Mga mali sa aking logbook So, sa doon lang sa gulong at saka sa Beacon light Pero ang tagal namin dahil nga chinik check 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 Niya lahat So, lahat naman ay Kompleto yung flags Wide load Kaya yeah. Kanina nawala pa tong pin ko, may nagnako, may mga kawatan dun sa ko do, sa queue line siguro to. So yeah, I'm done sa aking post trip. Then yun lang papagawa ko bukas, so late na naman ako mag-deliver. So maraming maraming salamat at uh, nakaabot pa kayo dito sa ano. Ano ba to? So nakaabot pa kayo dito sa napakahaba ng video, no? So maraming maraming salamat at nakaabot kayo dito sa sa last part ng video nito so maraming salamat sa suporta sa Pinoy Trucker, keep safe and keep on trucking Pinoy Trucker I keep on trucking keep on trucking